Um, <laughs> so it's the 31st of December, 2019. We're doing this video unedited, so uh, if I do ums and ahs, I'm sorry, we're not gonna cut them out. I just thought we would um, talk about the last decade and what's happened. Uh, I think a lot's happened, hasn't it? Yes, at this time uh, in 2009, I was in Wisconsin, um, nervously waiting on my fiancé visa. And I had met Chris just a few months before that. And I think it's been a very unexpected decade. I think, I, I suppose at, at the end of 2009, I knew I was moving to Britain, but I didn't, I don't think I would have predicted most of the rest. No, so we got married in June 2010. And yeah, I, I went from within a re relatively short space of time, not having a girlfriend to having a wife from America. And, and, then, and then I went to Wisconsin several times. Um, so let's go through the years. Let's go, so 2010, we got married. So that's quite a big event. Uh, 2011, I think I went to Wisconsin um, but also, we, um, I, I, I changed jobs slightly. I got moved around. I worked for the University of Sussex and I got moved around. And I didn't really like that. So in 2012, I left the university that I'd worked at for, I think, over 10 years. Um, no, it was nearly eight, 10 years. Nearly 10 years, yeah. And, um, and then went to work for a small telecoms company. It was, um, uh, which is a complete culture shock. And uh, yeah, worked there for uh, a couple of years and then we decided to move to the US. So 2013 was probably just a nice time where we went to the pub. Uh, and, but then 2014 was getting ready to... Uh, oh no, you became a British citizen. I did. I became a British citizen, I think in 2014. It was because we never wanted to do the visas again in case... It oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that, but we, yes, yeah, so we had that. And then I we, finished my... Thesis was that in 2013? Yeah, I think yeah. it was because yeah. then you did a computer science degree. Or in 2014, the, I did a computer degree, science but... course. Yeah, yeah, and, and then yeah, and then we planned to leave um, and had to get uh, do some finance stuff to to be able to quit, you know, jobs and things, and, and be able to leave for um, the US, and then in. Um, in 2015, we um, moved out of Brighton, stayed with my parents, um, and then came to the US, uh, bought a car, and drove for nearly five months around the lower 48 states of the US. Um, partially because we wanted to see the country, but also because um, the I didn't get my social security card and I couldn't work. Um, so, yes. so, so, so we had a very long, you know, um, travel round where I, I drove 20,000 miles on the wrong side of the road um, around the country. And, uh, and then we um, stayed in Wisconsin for the uh, Christmas 2015. Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it was Christmas season, but then we actually oh, yeah. went back to Britain for actual Christmas. No, so we were in Wisconsin for, I think, most of November and most of December. Yeah. And you got a job and we could plan to move here. That was it, yeah. Because I got a, a job in, I got a job before and then came back and then it was with this company who, um, they, they would like have drinks at 11 a.m. and everyone was a raging alcoholic and, um, uh, which sounds fun, but it's, uh, it, it wasn't, it was just, just lunacy. So I had to leave a job after Two move, months. After two months, because they, they were just insane. Um, also, wasn't your job title, it meant something slightly different in Britain than it did. Yeah, so you kind it, of it, had the wrong job. I, I did, it was, it was the wrong job. Uh, but then I got another job, um, and we'd, I mean, this time, we'd, so this was all in Arizona, we'd moved into somewhere, um, got a, um, uh, rented an apartment that had a pool, and, and you know, it's a wonderful place. Um, so we went from like in England, it being in 500 square foot space to like 1300 square foot space, uh, which was amazing. And, and the feeling, that amazing feeling lasted like a couple of years because <laughs> we, we sort of stayed um, in Chandler, Arizona. Um, and um, yeah, I sort of um, got, a, a, got addicted to Lego. 
Oh yeah. yeah, we do have um, all that Lego on the closet. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, well, um, we bought just an obscenity of Lego in the first few years. I think we were just yeah. overexcited that we could afford that much Lego. Yeah. Um, so, so 2016, that was a lot of new stuff. 2017 was sort of calm -ish, Comparative, yeah. I think so. And then when did we get the cats? We got the cats. Uh, and that, that was what it was. Toward the end of 2017, we got the cats. And I think that made us realize we needed a house. Basically, we, we bought this house because, because we have cats. Yeah. Um, uh, it's always not the only reason, but I, I think it, it was, the apartment didn't Mostly seem like the right thing. So we decided to start looking for houses in 2018. We realized that none of the houses that already existed were the right house because we also wanted a pool because we really liked the pool where we used to live. Mm. So we ended up having to get a house built. Yeah. And then it took ages. It took like, um... It, it, it took 10 months. It did. It took 10 months. Well, it took a few months to find a house and then... Eventually, in oh no, in 2018, you learned to drive. Oh yeah, yeah. because yeah, we Jeff, once we decided we were going to live in the middle of nowhere because we both work from home now. Oh, that was the other thing. We both ended up working from home, yeah. um, which we hadn't been planning on. But it's great, and I recommend you all do it if you can. Um, but no, so I had to learn how to drive because we now live five miles from the nearest just anything, and that's a safe way. So, uh, and, and probably more like 15 or 20 miles from most other things. So I had to learn how to drive after not driving for 19 years because I was scared of it for various reasons. So we did that. And then, and, we, and then we moved. And then, yeah, then we actually, we, we went from looking for a house in January 2018, signing up for it on Cinco de Mayo 2018, and then actually moving in March 2019. Yeah, and then finding out that the house, uh, the electricity didn't work properly because there was water in it and some other stupid stuff that happened like we moved in and it was just just horrible we food. didn't realize how much can go wrong with a brand new house that no one's basically tested because the only way you can really test a house is by living in it yeah. whatever tests they do they're not going to be enough stuff's right. going to go wrong if you so ask if it if it works they say yeah yeah it does uh, um, and then you find out you know when you're exhausted from moving that no no it doesn't and, uh, and i i I became a citizen. Oh yes, Chris became an American in February. And in February, he also turned 40 and I turned 35. Yeah. And we bought a house. We didn't actually move into it until March, but technically all of that happened within the space of about three weeks. Yes. yes so, so February was... was a big month. Yeah. Um, and I think, and, and it's just, and we're still setting up the house. Um, yeah, the backyard's not 100% done yet, so. Um, so what does that take about to 2019? I think that's it. I think that's what we've done. That's what we've done in the past 10 years. Um, so, so that's why I'm, I'm, I sometimes get a bit tired because <laughs> uh, there's just so much stuff that's happening. Um, it's been a big decade. It has, it has mm -hmm. been a big decade. And, and it's not just that we've had a big decade. I think just the world's had a huge decade. I, like at the, I remember at the, like when we met, I think I had an iPhone. So I've still got an iPhone, so that's not, um, that big, but the kind of stuff that it does, like I can order anything on it because we also have Amazon. She, and that, yeah, that's completely changed how we shop. Yeah, and then like, like we've got internet and we had internet then, but it's just like things like streaming, like Netflix and, and, and things that have, have just stopped us using television in, in the way that, that we used to. Um, and yeah, there's just all sorts of little changes. I'm sure it'll have some label I, I i don't know what it's going to be but there'll be some label for like what happened in this kind of revolution like people have drones like and, and it wasn't like they had like people always had toy helicopters but like drones and, and and other stuff like that it feels like we're just about to um have some massive revolution in technology and maybe we're already going through it but it feels like we do have like 10 or 12 alexis we do, yes. Oh, the Alexa stuff. Yeah, that's, that, that's quite big. But yeah, just everything's, everything's a bit different. Um, and everyone's gone mad with politics. Uh, that, that's just really kicked off. Um, Everyone calm down in the 20s. It'll be nicer. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then, like, I don't know. It feels, to some people, it feels like the world's going to end. Um, but I, I don't know. I think we're probably going to have an okay time, even if it does. So... Um, no, it probably won't end. We'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, there are my unorganised ramblings. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just really strange. There's loads of people, like, um, 
talking about like the things that have happened and big events. And it's just, it's more like everything's just shifted a bit. Um, yeah, like th things like the, uh, like the number of World War II veterans is now rapidly disappearing. So that's now going from living memory to history. Um, uh, and even, and, and that kind of thing's gonna happen with I don't know, like the rock and roll generation or whatever, that they're going to, it's gonna be something that's just captured on film. Actually, something that my friend Val brought up today is that all of us 80s girls are gonna turn 40 in the next decade. So yeah, that, that, that's people yeah. just moving on and the generation, the fact that we're, we're hitting another 20s. I mean, the 20s, that always sounded like rolling 20s historical period. We're, we're getting the next one, so. Yes, my um, grandmother on my dad's side was born in 1920. Mm. Um, so she talked about you know, the, mm. the 20s and that, that just meant something else. Because uh, people live long enough that they, mm. the sort of memory, at least across one person, can last more than a century. But, uh, uh, but yeah. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> it just sounds so futuristic. Um, Space year 2020. Yes. <laughs> um... Yes, I want my flying car, and at the very least, we, we would very much like Tesla to finish building our truck. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah maybe. We've ordered a Cybertruck, so we're hoping in this decade we better get our Cybertruck. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, I think this decade's been the decade of thinking things are nearly going to become fully automated, but they haven't quite yet, apart from, I can say, Alexa, all lights off. Yeah, that's sort of okay. Um, I just switched all the lights in the house off. But yeah, so um, I think we'll draw this to a close. I think I can't so. Think of anything else. <laughs> but, Happy 2020. We hope you all have a wonderful decade and a wonderful new year. Take care.